So the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program, the lender is the SBA. The SBA is not only the lender, but also the underwriter of the loan. And that's very important because that makes the loan process very streamlined and very easy compared to the PPP. The Paycheck Protection Program, they have approved lenders. They have fintech companies, credit unions, local banks, and large national banks. And that's very important because you have to see who is the best lender for you because with the PPP, you can only apply or you can only get it once. You can get rejected a lot of times, but you can only get approved once. So depending on who you're approved with, it really affects um, how fast you can get the money, to be honest with you. So fintech companies are, are getting into the space and fintech companies are PayPal, QuickBooks, and Square. Um, they are really going for these SBA 7A loans. And they, they usually were never in it. They, they never really played a part in it, but they're for profit. They have better customer service and they may have lower fees or no fees and they may have discount loan rates. And this may be something that you want to look into, especially if you have a QuickBooks payroll or you have something PayPal. It may be a, a place where you want to check out too. So credit unions um, that issue this SBA 7A loans are non-for-profit. And they have really good good customer service also because they're, they're very local and small banks. And they may have lower fees and they may have low discount loan rates. So if you are a part of a credit union, you don't have to go to a national bank. You can stick with your credit union. It may be in your best bet because customer service, I believe, is the key. So um, a local bank is basically a local bank. We have a lot of local banks around here in uh, Maplewood, New Jersey. They're for profit also. They have okay customer service and they may have a little bit of fees um, and they may have some reasonable loan rates. Um, and that's something to look into because once again, you want to know what is in your best interest. A national bank, th those are the Wells Fargo's, the chase of the world. They're for profit. They may lack the customer service that you may be really looking for and the questions. They may have higher fees and they may have higher loan rates. Um, so if you are gonna go with a national bank, you know, be very wary, uh, to be honest with you, because you want to be, see what they can do. And I think the biggest thing is the lack of customer service. Um, customer service is the key ingredient for a beautiful business. So if you can't get on to anyone, if you go into the bank and the bankers are not knowledgeable, that's really not well, good, you know? So definitely check that out. shop around now I, I wouldn't say really shop around for the best rates because it seems like everyone's going to have the same rate the one percent but shop around to see who's the best lender for you who can get you the money as fast as humanly possible who has a backlog who doesn't have a backlog because with those national banks they may have backlogs so that goes into the brainstorming who should I go to? Who's the lender? And you really have to see, do you have a relationship with your bank? Does, does the bank know you? And that's really important because the banks have something called um, Know Your Customer. as KYC. It should not be confused with KFC. And that Know Your Customer was created to stop you know, money laundering. They need to know who you are. So it may slow down the process, especially if you're gonna go into a new bank and they don't know you, don't have any bank account with them. So if you don't have a really good relationship with your banker, you may wanna look at the FinTech companies or you may wanna look at um, going with a credit union where it may be a little bit faster or maybe a local bank. Um, so really try to see what is in your best interest. That plays into the tax code tip. You know, shopping around is great, but it may slow you down. If you already have a bank account with a bank, that know your customer, that KYC is already in place. 
and they don't have to really worry about doing a lot of due diligence to make sure you're not who you say you are or you say who you are not. They can really move forward with the process of fairly quicker, especially if you have a bank account with them. So I would say use the bank that you're with um, first and foremost. But if it's a national bank, just be wary because there may be a backlog already there in that bank that you're going to have to basically get in the back of the line. Please, please smash that like button. If in this six minute video, we have given you some information that you didn't know before you started, like it, share it, let other people know, because that's the only way this it would get out with the YouTube algorithm. I thank you so much for listening and for your time and look at the other series that we have. This is only one part. We're trying to make it as digestible as possible. Look at all of them, and so you can get all the information as humanly possible. Have a great day, and I'll speak to you soon.